Hello and welcome students. My name is Shampa. Today we are going to study the distributive law of multiplication over addition. So let's begin. Say we have a rational number x. Say x is a rational number, y is a rational number and z is a rational number. Now, the distributive law of multiplication over addition says that for all rational numbers, we can express x, y and z in this form. Say, we add the rational number y with z and finally we multiply it by x we can always express it in this form like x into y plus x into z let us understand it with the help of an example see we have 2 by 7 multiplied by 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2. Let's do it separately and we will verify the results eventually. Let 2 by 7, let's not deal with 2 by 7 at, for the time being. We have 3 by 4 plus 2 by 4. We will solve it and it will come out to be 5 by 4 multiplied by 2 by 7 and here we can convert it to the standard form we have 5 by 14 now let's apply the distributive property we have 2 by 7 outside the bracket and we have 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2 inside the bracket First multiply 2 by 7 with 3 by 4. 2 by 7 into 3 by 4. And then here we have 2 by 7. The sign is positive. Here the sign is positive. So put the positive sign here. 2 by 7 multiply it with 1 by 2. So here 2 and 4 will get cancelled. We have 3 by 14 plus here also we can cancel it. So we have 3 by 14 plus 2 by 14 which is 5 by 14. So we verified the distributive law of multiplication over addition holds true here. What we did? We first, first added the numbers inside the bracket, opened the bracket and then multiplied it with 2 by 7. And in the second step, 2 by 7 was outside the bracket. We opened the bracket, multiplied 2 by 7 with 3 by 4 first and then we have a plus sign here and then we multiplied 2 by 7 with 1 by 2 and eventually the result is the same. Let us understand it in case of subtraction. So here we have performed the subtraction in the first case we did the calculation inside the bracket 3 by 4 and minus 2 by 4 actually I converted it into equal denominators and then the result is 1 by 14 and in the later case I open the bracket 2 by 7 was multiplied with 3 by 4 and the result is 3 by 14 and then here we have the minus sign we will put the sign here and here we have obtained the result minus 2 by 14 so the result is 1 by 14 so we have seen that in case of subtraction 2 the distributive law of multiplication over addition holds true. Now the important question is, 
what is the purpose of learning the distributive law of multiplication over addition? It should have a purpose in mathematics. So let us understand. Now this is a rectangle. It has a length of 12 centimeters and it has a breadth of x centimeters. And the perimeter, let's say, perimeter is equal to 36 centimeters. And now we have to find the value of x. So we know the formula to find the perimeter of a rectangle. It is twice length plus breadth, which is equal to 36 centimeters. Now, we have the value of the length. It is given and breadth is unknown. Here, we will use the distributive law of multiplication over addition. Open the bracket, multiply 2 and 12. We are going to get 24. And here we have the plus sign. We will retain the plus sign here and multiply 2 with x. And we have got this linear equation. We can solve it easily. So the value of the breadth is 6 centimeters. So this was easy. This is one application of the distributive law of multiplication over addition. But there are numerous applications. This is very important property. Let's revise it one more time. So the distributive law of multiplication over addition states that when we use this property, we split a product as a sum or difference of two products. Say we have three rational numbers, A, B and C. When we add B and C and multiply the result with A, it is same as multiplying A and B and adding the result to A and C. We understood, with, understood the concept with the help of examples and the same holds true in case of subtraction. So how do we use this property? Let's summarize one more time quickly. We have A outside the bracket and B plus C inside the bracket. We open the bracket, multiply A and B and between A and B, I'm sorry, between B and C we have the plus sign so we will retain here and then we will multiply A and C. This is how we use the distributive law of multiplication over addition. It has got numerous applications. We use distributive law of multiplication over addition in case of when we find the perimeter of a rectangle or when we factorize numbers in the factorization chapter of algebraic expressions, we will come across this concept. So that's it for the day. See you in my next session. Till then, please take care of yourself and have a good day.